Okay, this is going to be a short video on a product that I purchased uh, in order to serve as a light for a, uh, a storage shed that I have. And this is the old Brooklyn Lantern, antique lantern with LED lights. And this cost about 10 bucks. And what it is, it's a lantern styled in the form of the old antique oil lamps, oil lanterns except for it is a battery powered LED light. Uh, they say it stays cool to the touch. It's for home, patio, camping and more. It's made of a door, it has a durable metal construction, 12 ultra bright LED bulbs and a shatterproof dome. And you can see it here as it is in the box and that is the on off switch let's see if you can see that okay and scan to find out more introducing the old Brooklyn lantern trademark the vintage style lantern with the with new LED technology don't keep a bunch of old flashlights in drawers since they never work when you need them Old Brooklyn Lantern has 12 ultra bright LED bulbs that provide a brighter, longer lasting light that fills the whole room. Take yours home today. Requires 2D batteries, not included. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a couple seconds to uh, open this up and uh, take a look and load some batteries into it and see how it works. Okay, here are the instructions, the instruction guide. There's a nice ring on the top for mounting or hanging. Yes, this is very lightweight. And typically lightweight means cheap. And you can carry it like that, like the old lanterns of old. And the battery compartment here. Okay. Now let's turn it on and see what it does. Not bad. Okay, this is the uh, Brooklyn Lantern darkness test, and it is adequate for looking around in dark space. You can clearly see where you're going. Let's just sit it there for a minute. So it clearly lights the room, or in this case, the uh, the shed. The shed is approximately maybe 
I don't know, 25 by 15 in terms of uh, space. And uh, so it's a, it's a fairly good space that it's trying to light. And uh, it would probably do a lot better in a smaller space than this happens to be. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll uh, provide the dimensions to this particular space uh, just to get uh, a square footage. And uh, it pretty much allows you to see, allows you to find things. It's certainly uh, not a spotlight. Those are just uh, paving stones that I'm stepping on. So it's certainly not a spotlight, but it clearly allows you to go to wherever you want and uh, find whatever it is that you're looking for. I would say that it's not as detailed as a spotlight or flashlight, but um, just in order to provide a room light, in order to allow you to go into a dark space to find things and have light um, in the overall space, it's uh, clearly adequate for that. The one thing that I would like to see on something like this, a lantern, would be a, uh, a deflector so that when you're actually walking into a space, most of the light is being projected in the direction that you're going as opposed to in your face because having the light shining in your face uh, does kind of blind you to certain things and it uh, does diffuse the light a little more so it does work a little against you in that regard now it is styled after the old style lanterns and that's what they had to contend with but uh, I do remember that there were old lanterns that had deflectors in the old days so that you could actually uh, almost act like a spotlight or at least shine the light in a direction that is some uh, someplace other than uh, directly into your face as you're trying to proceed but uh, I certainly do like this I like the fact that it uh, is cool to the touch temperature wise cool um, and uh, does have adequate light for uh, for perhaps emergency situations as well all right thanks for watching and if any of you guys use the old Brooklyn Lantern with the 10 LED lights I believe it's 10 with the LED lights uh, powered by two D cell batteries uh, please let me know what your experiences with it have been and it's also dimmable so you can always turn down the light a little bit too and as I said it is let me just put the light back on a little bit as I said it is a little cheaply made and this uh, carry handle continues to come out of the loop there but that's uh, something that you can fix with, uh, with a pair of pliers or something so you can just uh, it's kind of hard to do one handed but you can just slip that slip that back into the loop there and if you had a pair of pliers or something you could just cinch that down and then you're good to go but it is rather relatively inexpensive uh, material alright thanks for watching